Welcome to Bit Science. In this introductory episode, we will explore the fundamental concept of working with data and forms. Essential for anyone looking to optimize their Salesforce experience. Whether you are an experienced developer seeking to broaden your skills or a newcomer eager to delve into Salesforce development, you are in the right spot. Without further delay, let's dive in. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge science education. All right, so lesson six is going to be a bit easier for you. Why? Because here again, we are going to grab data, but that data will be in the form style and you are not going to work with JavaScript to get them or the apex, just UI component. So we are going to build forms and you can do that with the help of three tags, lightning record form, lightning record view form, lightning record edit form. By the name, lightning record form can perform create, edit, view. View form can only help you with the view and edit can only help you with the edit okay so you cannot edit if you are using lightning record view form but if you are using lightning record form you can choose the mode okay if you choose the mode it will let you edit or read you can also choose the layout types which type of layout you want to use because if you're reading data with the help of lightning record form you have to say which fields you want to read okay or you can specify the layout if you use the full layout every field you will be you will be able to retrieve and use in the html but if you choose your um, layout for the mobile devices you will only get those fields that are placed in that layout okay so slightly different in terms of use case but it can do both now because you can only view data with the lightning record view form that choosing that layout types are not allowed and with the edit form you cannot choose layout types you cannot uh, view of course so you cannot enable the read only mode as well but because view form and edit form they are specifically dealing with specific operation on data you can get custom layout for the fields and you can also decide the custom rendering of the data now this is an example of record form we are reading why I'm saying I'm reading data because my mode is view. I'm passing which record ID I want to read, which object and which fields. So you can decide the fields from the JavaScript or if you don't want to choose a field, you can choose the layout type, the mode. Okay. Now, after lightning record form, we can use lightning record editable form just to edit the data. Which object data you want to edit, which record data you want to edit. And then you will open the field with the input field to edit that field value. You can add a button to perform the save operation. So you don't need a controller to save data. Data will be saved. It is just that you have to add a button. And after adding it, if you want to, you know, show the toast. So yeah, for that, you can call utils.showToast in the controller. But just to save, you don't need any JavaScript code. So that is the advantage of record edit form. Similarly, we have a view form, which object, you want to edit which ID you want to edit, which record actually you want to edit, and of course, the values that you want to display. 
you can use output field for that input field and output field okay so output field is going to display the field value in the right format because you said field right so it's going to look into the data type the validation and everything and it's going to display the data back to you and that wraps up our discussion on working with data and forms in salesforce lightning in conclusion working with data and form in salesforce lightning is essential for maximizing productivity and efficiency by understanding the different type of form available and when we use them you can optimize your salesforce experience and drive better results stay tuned for more tutorials and don't forget to like share and subscribe for future updates thanks for watching and happy coding